the computer. All right, we're recording everybody, and I'm excited to be on this call. I'm excited because, um, well, I'm excited to be with all of you, first of all. And uh, for those of you who don't know me, this is Nikki Cotton. I've been with the Juice Plus company for 26 years, and it's been an absolutely fabulous journey. I'll tell you what I did this weekend, which kind of describes it all. So we have team in Nashville that we went to. And what I loved is sitting in the room was a dear old friend of mine that, that like I've been close to ever since our Juice Plus journey, which was Sharon Rankin. And I realized one of the things that we love about our Juice Plus family is that we are really like-minded. We have a lot of things in common that we love. We're mission-driven. We have lots to talk about. But what I loved sitting in that room is I don't think Sharon and I could be more polar opposites politically, our religions, I mean, everything. And we are best friends. And that's what I love about the Juice Plus family, that it actually brings you together with those people that you think are the other people, the people that do things different than you, that maybe you think you don't like and you find that you're in a Juice Plus family and all of a sudden you can completely fall in love with them. And it's an ex incredibly inclusive experience. And so, um, Chris and I have had a great journey for 26 years. We started this absolutely fat, flat broke. For those of you who don't know who we are, in fact, worse than flat broke, quarter of a million dollars in debt. And we were able to really change our lives by following the system and doing a lot of what I know Jan is going to talk about tonight. And so Jan, um, I have met just a number of times. And you know, again, we always say this, there's certain, you know, there's 10, 12, 15,000 people that are in conventions and all over the place. And how do you get attracted to somebody? Is it the energy? Is it something about them? I don't know, but Jan and I have always had some kind of a, um, a romance with each other. And I know that we really love each other. Jan has spent, had spent 15 years as an executive in the telecommunications industry. She and her husband have two adopted children that were plagued with health problem after health problem. And she lives in Highlands Ranch, Colorado. Now her kids are always healthy, and I'm actually going to let her share her story and her journey. So would all of you remember to mute yourselves out? And um, Jan, I'm going to turn this over to you. I can't wait to hear it, because you were so excited the other day. You got me going crazy. I, I am, and I'm really excited to be here and to be sharing my story with you guys, um, because there is nothing like the opportunity that we get Hang on one second, Jan. There's a lot of people that don't have their uh, things on mute. Somebody's watching TV in the background, it sounds like. So, you know, we are hearing a lot of people. If you're not on mute, could you please mute yourselves out? Sorry about that. Um, okay, Jan. And then I could, I could barely hear you either. So if you uh, could be just a little bit louder, that would be great also. Okay, hang on one second. I'm going to plug my headset in and we'll see if that makes it any better. Can you hear me now? I can hear you, but it's just not very loud. All right, hang on. Is that better? Way better, yay. Oh, good, good. Because I really want my enthusiasm to come across. And, you know, I'm not, I tend to be on the feisty side. I'm not, you know, a subtle person. So... Um, I want you guys to hear me. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, I've Nikki and I have known each other for a long time, and that is a huge benefit of this business are the friends that you make that have nothing to do with um. As Nikki said, my name's Jan Swartow, and I'm a national marketing director with the Juice Plus Company. And really where it all started was um, when my kids were little. You know, I had been in the corporate world. I was very successful with what I did in a, in, from a corporate sense. Um, and we adopted our kids, and they were sick all the time. And, I mean, it was the point where... Um, I had taken time off for the adoption. I had gone back to work. I actually ended up having to leave my job because my kids were sick all the time. And we learned about Juice Plus, and it was literally like someone came and flipped the light switch. They went from being sick all the time to never being sick. And I absolutely 
had to tell people about it. I mean, I was just so, you know, at the playground, oh my God, your kids don't have to be sick, you know? Um, and it was really fun for me because in my corporate world, I made a lot of money, but I never felt like I was making a difference. And so that was something that was really, really important to me with Juice Plus. And originally I had signed up to be a rep because I just wanted the best possible price for myself and my family. I never envisioned that this would be a business for me, but literally I had people coming up to me. What are you guys doing different? Your kids were always so sick and now they're so healthy. I'm like, it's this juice plus you should try it. Right. So um, it, that was really, really a fun piece because I thought, Oh my gosh, maybe I could offset our costs. Oh my gosh, maybe I could, you know, make an extra um, $500 a month. My gosh, maybe I don't have to go back to the corporate world when my little one goes to kindergarten, which is kind of a funny thing because you think, oh yeah, well, I'll go back to work when they go to kindergarten because they're so big, right? <laughs> they're five. <laughs> they're so big. And you're like, oh yeah, well, you just, you know, drive yourself home, get yourself, you know, <laughs> no. So, <laughs> Um, I was just so happy when we got to that point. First of all, we were able to give Kenny an extra year. He wasn't quite ready for kindergarten. And because of my Juice Plus business, we were able to wait that extra year. But John and I sat down and we both said, gosh, we would be stupid to give this up for me to go work for somebody else. And I, and I really, you know, I really, really felt that. And I was so proud of the fact that by the time Kenny did go to kindergarten, we had paid off any debt that we had incurred. We were contributing to the, to the kids' college funds. We were contributing to our retirement again, and we were taking lovely family vacations. And I thought, okay, you know, this is, this is something pretty cool, you know, and I really want to share people up, share this with people. I think that one of the biggest benefits that I have had now, my kids, they were two and four when I started. My daughter's now a junior in college and my son is a senior in high school. He's graduating in six weeks. Um, but I can't share, I can't say enough about the value of my having been home for all of those years that, you know, and, and they knew that I had something else that I was that had my attention. So it wasn't like, you know, I would drop everything for my kids, but I was here when they got home from school and I was able to go to the softball games and all the music performances. Um, I've hit national marketing director. It took me about four years to hit national marketing director. And I love to say that I, I feel like I have achieved two really pretty big things. One is figuring out a way to contribute to the family income without sacrificing my family. And then the other is having been in that corporate world where it was all about the money, I really connected with the fact that every day I'm making a difference in somebody's life. And, and I love that. And until recently, that has been very much focused on their health. And I'm really starting to make this shift towards the fact that People want to be in control of their finances too. So um, I wanted to, you know, tell you guys a little bit of my journey. Looks like there and back again. I hit 39 Club about nine years ago. And, you know, um, it didn't quite, it didn't quite stick, okay? I was on a really fast pace right from the get-go where I would hit senior sales coordinator and qualifying national marketing director, national marketing director, 24 club, 39 club. And then very candidly, I think that I never set another goal after 39 club. And so it didn't stick, you know, and I ended up getting a little bit complacent and life was good. And I got to spend so much time with my kids. And that is a real blessing that I had this fabulous residual income um, without striving for bigger and better things. Um, but there was something that happened about, I don't know, maybe six months ago. I realized really what we have, what a cool product we have, what cool people we get to hang with. And 
I thought, all right, I candidly, it was all about Pelican Hill. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, they are going to, they're going to Pelican Hill. And for those of you who don't know, Pelican Hill is like the creme de la creme. It's the resort where like the movie stars go and it's, you know, it's just supposedly fabulous. I'm like, okay, my friends are going to be hanging there and I'm going to be hanging with them. So I kind of did that, you know, line in the sand. And I, I said, you know, I am absolutely going to go for it, but it takes, it takes planning. It takes planning. And I think that one of, um, one of the things that my mentor, um, Sean and Jennifer Myers, have been very instrumental in shaping, helping me shape my business. And Sean Myers always says, you don't get what you want, you get what you plan. And I thought, okay, for me to go, honestly, I had probably fallen back to that 22 club range. For me to go from 22 to 39 is going to take some doing. And it's going to take some intention and it's going to take some planning. And so that's what we did. I sat down and I put together, really, it was a six month game plan. It wasn't something that happened overnight. It's not like you can wake up and go, oh, today's the 28th of March. Maybe I'll make 39 club for March, right? It took a game plan. And we sat down, I sat down with some leaders on my team. We talked about their goals. Because when other people achieve their goals, it helps you achieve your goals. So what were their conference goals? What do they want to achieve for Anaheim? And then we set a target date. And we said, let's do it in February. Because everyone's going to try and do it in March. Let's just be a little bit ahead of the curve. Let's make sure I get that reservation in Pelican Hill. <laughs> let's go for February. Okay. And maybe that wasn't the smartest thing because February was, a, is a short month and March is a much longer month. But regardless, we, we set our sites and then we pulled out our calendars and we made our calendars a reflection of our goals. And that's one of the things my business coach always says is, does your calendar accurately reflect your goals? It's like the kids, you know, don't do what I say, you know, they, they, um, they, they will do what you do. Your kids are watching you, right? And that calendar is that reflection. So another thing that, um, that I did was everybody knew, like going into the Christmas holiday and we're like, we, we planned this uh, six week action game for our team and we were having regular in-home events and regular Zoom events. But everybody knew that February was the month. And so early in February, I actually got on the phone and I called every person who was a potential qualifier for my team. And it didn't matter where in, their or in the organization they are, I called every single person. And if it was under, under, I would do it as a three-way. You know, it wasn't, I mean, I was trying to um, obviously bring their sponsor, their upline into it as well. But I asked them, you know, do you have goals for this business? Um, what would you like to do with this business? And of course, when you're talking to that many people, you're going to get a lot of different answers, right? And so I just took what they said at face value. And sometimes it was, hey, let's, let's help you, you know, become a qualifier. Let's help you, you know, make that $500 a month. Let's help you see the value of the business that we have. And sometimes it was, you know what? Do, do it for the team, <laughs> you know, do it because it's important to your sponsor. Do, do it because it, it would mean a lot to me, right? So just having those honest conversations um, with people. But I think that one of the biggest things that we did, especially as we were calling deep within my organization, a lot of people had never heard of the um, Healthy Living Revolution or the Shred 10 program. And so that became a real easy touch point. Like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? We finally have this awesome program. And so a lot of what I was doing was inviting some of those reps that maybe were sitting at five, 600 points, inviting them to shred with us for March, which of course means they have to get their orders in in February, right? <laughs> so 
what we were doing was inviting them to really experience the shred so that they could share it from their own experience. And of course, anytime you're going to do something cool, what do you do? You want to bring a friend or two along. So we did lots of Zoom calls, you know, hey, let's just get a couple of your friends on the phone and we can do a, a Shred 10 Zoom call with them so that they understand what it is and everyone can get their orders placed and you can all join us for our March Shred. All right, and then that became a real training point also, making sure that every rep has the system guide, which is phenomenal. When you really think about it, I feel like that system guide is a shift for our company going from being so mission-driven to a little more um, profit-driven, which is not a bad thing, right? So when you look at it, that whole rollout of the beginning of the month, we're shredding and people are having really, really good experience by shredding. And then the middle of the month, they're kind of talking to their friends about it. Maybe like they're thinking, oh, you know what? I want to shred again the next month. I'd like a couple of my friends to shred with me. And of course, their sponsor is saying, hey, you know what? Join our business and boom, you'll already have your healthy living plan, you'll get a $100 thank you, et cetera, et cetera. They get off to a fast start. It's really that cycle. It's, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. But I don't want to digress. Um, <laughs> so um, what we really did, another thing that we really did, because everybody was kind of hyped up that February was our month. So we really celebrated a lot. And everybody was tuned into Voxer and Facebook. And on our team page, every time somebody's PVC clicked over to qualifier, it was like a big celebration. So we really made sure that everybody was recognized. We had, you know, three clubs and 15 clubs and, you know, all kinds of people um, achieving their goals, which of course rolled up to help me hit my goal. And what ended up happening with that was the excitement just grew and grew within our team and it became contagious. And that was really, really fun. Everybody was rooting for us and I used hashtag 39 strong. So every post was hashtag 39 strong, hashtag 39 strong, hashtag we're, you know, team 39. So not about me, not at all about me, all about like all of us coming together to achieve something huge that we couldn't achieve on our own individually. So one thing that happened, which I thought was, was pretty impactful. About halfway through the month, um, I was at the Myers house for an Own Your Life, and Brie Bergford was there. I know a lot of you know Brie. And she came up to me and, you know, Brie and I have been friends for a long time and we're sideline buddies. Um, she came up and she said, you know, I know you're going to 39 club. How's it going? How's it going? And I'm, I'm like, Brie, it's, it's locked in the vault. I've got it. I know I have it. I'm like, not there, but it is totally happening. And she said to me, good, what's your next goal? I, I was like, well, I, I have to make 39 club first. She's like, yeah, but what's next? Start reaching for your next goal now. If you're confident that you have 39 and that was that was huge for me because in the past when I've made my goal I'm like ah, I've arrived made my goal right and now it's like oh my gosh you should see my vision board which is behind my computer screen here it's got 50 50 50 50 all over it so But I want to keep that excitement for myself personally in my business. Um, anyway, you can imagine how qualifiers day was for everyone on my team. We were like bringing in shred orders and bringing on new reps who were bringing shredders. And we, we just had so much fun. Um, my PVC actually for the month of February jumped by 10,000 points. Yeah. 10,000 points in one month, which to me was fantastic because now I'm on that trajectory. 
I'd been kind of flat. My business had been flat and clearly it's a bust out. So we're, we're going for 50 club and that's really, really exciting. But something else happened that I wanted to share with you. All right. You can imagine like all the adrenaline and it's, you know, four o'clock my time for qualifiers. I'm on the phone with corporate till 4.15 and it's like, oh, we did it. My friend came over with balloons and, you know, popped the champagne. It was fantastic. Then at like three o'clock in the morning, a group of us had to get up and go to the airport to go to Las Vegas for the most powerful women in network marketing. And that is where this whole little lottery ticket comes from, guys. When we sign our virtual franchise application, we pay $50 and we don't realize it, but we just bought ourselves a winning lottery ticket. And people just don't see it that way. People just don't see it that way. But going off to Most Powerful Women really helped me compare the Juice Plus company to uh, all the other direct sales companies that are out there. And there's a lot of good companies out there. I'm not, I'm not poo-pooing anybody's company, but none of them have what we have. None of them. We change lives every single day. And I'm not saying that, you know, it's not nice to have nice leggings or makeup or lotion or whatever it is that, that they're selling. But I look at the Juice Plus company and we never talk about the income potential. And yet Mitra Ray says that your paycheck is a reflection of the number of people that you're helping. And that's, that's just, that's the truth. That's the truth of it. And I could never become a six or seven figure earner selling baskets or leggings because my heart wouldn't be in it. But my heart is all about helping other people. And why not help them with their wealth as well? Why not show them that, you know what, Jeff Roberti is not the only person that is a seven figure earner in this business. There's a lot of seven figure earners. And when you think about it, there's a lot of six figure earners as well. And we just, for some reason, and I know it's because our company stands so much in integrity and they're very conservative from that standpoint and they don't want to over promise and under deliver. But the reality is guys that our, our industry, the direct sales industry is phenomenal. And Eric Worre says it, you know, it's, it's the best way. I, I don't remember his exact quote, but this is clearly a way where we have complete and total control of our lives, our finances, our time, who we hang with, who we work with, right? But outside of that, I think everyone on this call would agree that our company is beyond reproach. Jay Martin stands in integrity and they have our backs. And one of the things that Jay says that I quote all the time, and he, he says, very few companies offer the opportunity to help others while helping yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's true. That's what we get to do every single day. But we also have the greatest product. And our product, when someone does a shred, I say this all the time, you know, it may sound self-serving, but I, in 17 years of experience, I have found that the more juice plus you take, the better you're going to feel. <laughs> right? Good. It is true. It is true. So we've got this phenomenal product. If we get people to really try it, they're going to love it and it is going to benefit their health. That's just that's just the way that it is. And so I walked away from that most powerful women seminar, really looking at these other women making, you know, six and high six and seven figures, selling products that mm, I'd be ambivalent about. And I thought, okay, again, line of the sand time it is time to, you know, now go for a high six figure income, go for 50 club and help other people see the income potential 
because I want my new team members to have a strong income experience so that they realize the potential of the business that we have our hands on. So really, one of the things that I took away from the most powerful women was how important your story is, and that can include your income story. Don't shy away from that, all right? How important it is to connect with people, which we do that very naturally as, as women. I know there's some men on the call too, but it's, it's just a very natural progression that, that we're connectors. Um, and another piece that I really took away was this business and this opportunity are so strong. Sponsor, sponsor up, sponsor the, the, you know, the most successful people that you know. It takes a skill set to be successful at this business. So if you're bringing in people that maybe intimidate you a little bit, they're going to probably have a lot of the skills that they need to be successful in this business. All right. And I, I was talking to a friend of mine who is a very successful Mary Kay rep. And she said, oh, yeah, sponsor people who scare you just a little bit. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> Um, but the, other, the only other thing that I wanted to, to um, wrap up with is set your sights, guys. Decide what you're going to go for. Believe that you can do it. And then an important piece is take the necessary steps. Take that action and you will be successful. So that's what I had, Nikki. I'm going to turn it back over to you. I have a couple things, of course, I want to say. Um, number one, I really want to acknowledge you because I don't know if you remember, you did a training for us years and years ago on one of our calls. I don't know if you yes. remember, but the difference between who you are now and who you were then, not to say you didn't do a great job then, but there's a piece of you, your posture, and I don't mean the way you're sitting, the attitude, what you have yeah. to say, the confidence, and your absolute, this is how it is is so very clear that it was not there before. And I just have to tell you, it's really fun to see that. It's just amazing to me. So I really need to acknowledge that. Well, thank you. It's that whole personal growth journey, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, what about that? Yeah, <laughs> we're all on that journey together. The other thing is, would you, how important, you said, you know, there's steps in the journey. Mm -hmm. So how important is going to conference in terms of the steps in the journey? Oh. No contest. No contest. Um, okay, 17 years. I have missed one conference in 17 years. Um, and I went to my first conference literally screaming and kicking because I had a two-year-old and a four-year-old and who was going to stay home with my kids because my husband worked a million hours a week. Um, and I, I'll go to one, just one. <laughs> and in 17 years, I've only missed one. Yeah. So it's worth it's, it. It makes all the difference in the world. It is. It absolutely. And for you guys, a lot of you I know are on the West Coast. It's easier for you to get to Anaheim. If you haven't already done it, my gosh. You know, at this point, $150 for a conference ticket, if you don't already have yours, is nothing compared to what you will learn the belief that it will give you in our company, you can fall in love with the product out here in the field, but you've got to go to conference to fall in love with the company. Um, but also when you compare it to other companies, $150 for a conference ticket is cheap. It is like, we got it good guys. We got it good. So go and find out how good you got it. <laughs> we got the winning lottery ticket. So we do. Just scratch it off. Yes. Do yeah. what it takes. Cause we can all be seven-figure earners in this business. Great. So I'm going to, um, you've been on Spotlight and you've been big, so we've been watching you. I finally remembered to do that after a couple seconds. Does anybody have a question or a comment that they would like to say to Jan? Chris is holding his hand up. Chris, you get, you get to go first. Thank you. Uh, great, Jan. Appreciate it. And um, one of the things I want to say, you, you know, you brought up about all of us that were at the women's mastery, I might have been one of the few men. Um, which, Smart man. <laughs> right, no kidding. I don't, I highly recommend it. 
Um, but you know what's also kind of telltale sign is some people said there was 3,000 women there. Some said there was as, as many as 5,000. I'm not sure what the count was. But, you know, Lauren Slocum put on that lunch for the Juice Plus distributors, and there was 450 women at that lunch. And talk about doing what it takes to, to make a difference on the planet. We had somewhere, depending on the figures, either 10 or 15% of that whole room, those thousands of women were Juice Plus. And I just think that's admirable. And I just kind of piggybacking on that, what you said, you know, about the fact that we have this product that really makes a difference. We have people that really want to make a difference. That's why they show up for the big events. And that's why they'll all be at conference. Right. Yes, yes, absolutely. Conference, what's that saying? Not everyone that goes to conference makes $10,000 a month, but everyone who makes $10,000 a month goes to conference. That's the way right. I heard it. Yep. That's the way I heard it. So any other last moment, anything that anybody needs to add, because we're a little bit over, but I just want to give anybody if they need to make a comment. Just unmute yourself and go for it. All right. Nikki, I want to thank you for the opportunity um, to let me share with everybody. And for anyone who's been in this business for 10 or 15 years, and maybe you've had more success and less success, like at any point in time, you can draw that line in the sand. Mm. All right. Get your chalk out. Get your stick <laughs> out. Bang them on the ground. Do yep. what it takes. And um, I love, it took a plan, just like a plan. You know, it took a plan and is your calendar matching, you know, your goals. So everybody, love you all. Jam, thank you so much. It was so much fun. I can't wait to see you at Pelican <laughs> Hill. Pelican Hill. 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 I will be there. Pelican Hill. Pelican Hill. You can all unmute yourselves and give a rip roaring thank you to Jan. That would be so cool. Thanks, Jan. Bye. Thank you, Jan. Bye. Bye. Love you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, Jan.